Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well, and today we are going to be looking at five Roblox simulators we want to see. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. At number five, we have Meep City. We want to see more of this game. Released in 2016 by a developer who goes by Alex Neutron, Meep City was the first Roblox game to ever get more than 1 billion visits. In this experience, you can play with millions of other Meep City visitors in chat, enjoy different games, earn coins, or customize your estate. To this day, Roblox says Alex still plays Meep City because he believes it is super important to understand the reasons people are into it. He even uses different accounts to get insights on first-time user experience and interact with everyone. He said in a statement, we have a small team, but together we design ideas and content based on how people play Meep City. For example, we saw how much players love to roleplay in the Pizza Shack, so we decided to add an ice cream parlor and the community loved it. Uh, Alright, there we go. Yo, why does yo why does she look like that? Yo, son, there's no way. Okay, hold on. Let me actually be like this. Okay, there we go. Sing, single, um, mingle, Pringle. I, is that weird? That is weird. That is so awkward. Who would say that? Pringle was. At number four, we have Adopt Me. Earlier this year, Adopt Me broke new ground, attracting hundreds of thousands of concurrent players. When the game was updated with a new feature release, Adopting Pets. Just about any time you check in on this, you'll see over 100,000 users playing together, adopting pets, designing their own homes, exploring Adoption Island, and more. The creators B Think and New Fizzy have been playing on Roblox for many years, but a few years ago they started experimenting with game development. Adopt Me was a fast success, and the creators believe that encouraging adoption in the virtual world can have an impact on the real world. New pets to adopt with every new release, including turkeys and the Thanksgiving update and bees. The last one to find is just down the side of it. We're now heading over to the potion shop where we'll find one more. There it is. We'll come back for the eggs in the town centre in a bit. There's one on this wooden pier. And we're now going over to the campsite. There's only the one down here. In at number 3 we have Murder Mystery 2. Can you solve the mystery and survive each round? Nicholas, who came up with the intriguing experience, proved that you don't have to build massive games to garner millions of plays. At the beginning of each round you are assigned a role. Innocents run and hide from the murderer, but also use their detective skills to expose the murderer. The sheriff works with the innocents as only they can take down the murderer. The murderer is just trying to eliminate everyone and not get shot by the sheriff. Prior to Murder Mystery, Nicholas had some games on the platform and some fun fan groups too, but he didn't expect the experience to become a success. He recalled in a statement, I was testing the gameplay mechanics with a few friends, but they actually weren't that interested. So I sat in a server by myself and posted the link on some of my group walls. I finally got one server full and decided to go to bed. When I woke up, there were thousands of people playing the game. So yeah, we should probably wrap this up. This song is me. This song is me. This song is so me right now. Ghost time. Yeah, you get over here. Get over here. He's running. He knows I'm after him. He knows I'm gonna kill him. No! <laughs> no, shut! That did that. <laughs> I live for that, that sound, the sound of victory, the horns of freedom. At number two, we have Welcome to Bloxburg. Created in 2014 by Coeptus, Welcome to Bloxburg is a virtual world where you live in and work and choosing among several types of jobs available for you. Using your earnings, you can build and design a house, own cool vehicles, hang out with friends, role play, or explore the city of Bloxburg. Coeptus explained in interviews that he had no actual development experience prior to finding out about Roblox, but had quite a large interest in computers and video games. Once he created the launch Welcome to Bloxburg, the number of players grew very quickly, from about 20 players in the first days to thousands in a few weeks later. Eventually, players started sharing their fun experience on social media and uploading videos of themselves playing on YouTube, and the game has been a success ever since. Five years in, Coeptus' focus is entirely on Welcome to Bloxburg, improving the experience, working on updates, and keeping in touch with the player community. And at number one, we have Prison Life. Created in 2014, Prison Life is another hit game with a prison theme that gained thousands of dedicated fans. The game won a Bloxy Award in 2016 for having the most mobile visitors and concurrence at the time. The developer known as Aesthetical started his first year of college in 2017, which means for a while he didn't have much time to spend working on the game. However, more recently, he announced a new renewed focus on the game, which Roblox expects will result in exciting new updates in the months ahead. That's all for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you guys hit the like on this video and turn on notifications so when I upload next, you guys get notified, it would mean a lot. Also, if you guys could hit the big red button and subscribe to my channel, it would be great. That's all for me today. See you guys in the next video, and peace.